Adventures of Lassie. Now let's try it once more. Sit down! Do what Lassie's doing, Lucky. <laughs> I mean to sit like Lassie. You just gotta pay attention, Lucky. Don't be a stubborn donkey. You know you can do it if you want to. I'm gonna give you one more chance to show you you're not a dummy. Now sit down. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. That took a lot of patience. That was quite an accomplishment, son. I never thought you'd do it. I couldn't teach him anything without Lassie. Anyway, Lucky's real smart when he wants to be. Pete Johnson says this county fair is going to be the biggest one we ever had. And I'm ready for it with my hybrid corn. If I say so myself, I think I'm going to win a prize. Gosh, I wish I was that sure about my preserves. I still don't know whether I should enter or not. Well, what's to stop you? You make the best apple jelly in the world, Mom. Win or lose, my jam will be in there fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm the only one that's not going to be part of the fair. Oh, of course you'll be part of it. We're all one family. We'll all share in whatever credit's due. But I wanted to do something of my own. But son, you're still a little young. The children's competition is for 4-H club members. And you're not old enough yet for a junior member. Then what are little boys my age supposed to do? Just eat all day and sleep all night? I wondered why they even bothered to make little boys. isn't home from school yet. Oh? Is that a statement of fact or an ominous forecast? Well, he's always home by this time. I'm worried. Well, sweetheart, all young boys have lingeritis. He might have stopped over at Boomer's house on his way home. Well, do you think I ought to phone and find out? Well, I don't see any harm in... Mom! Dad! Mom! Dad! Where were you? Guess what? What? I'm going to be part of the county fair. You are? Well, tell us about it. Is that why you're late getting home from school? I rode in a Calverton. Dad, you know that dollar you gave me a long time ago? And you said I could do anything with it I wanted to? Well, I used it to enter myself in the horse show. You entered yourself? In the horse show? How did you enter yourself in a horse show? We don't even have a horse. I entered lucky. <laughs> this is to certify that Timmy Martin has registered his entry name Lucky in the Farm Horse Grooming and Obedience Competition. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, I'm sorry, Timmy. I, I, I just couldn't help it for some reason. But Timmy, you've entered Lucky in the competition, but it's for horses, not for donkeys. Did the man who gave you the certificate know that Lucky isn't a horse? And uh, never was one. <laughs> he didn't ask me. Timmy. Apparently, the man wasn't aware that Lucky isn't a farm horse. He just accepted the fact, dear. He accepted my dollar, too. Uh, son, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but I'm afraid you're going to find out the man made a mistake. And when he finds out... Now, don't you see, this contest is definitely for horses. Lucky's just like a horse, only smarter. But that doesn't make him a horse. He's got four legs like a horse, a tail, his head is in the same place, everything. Everything, but he's still different. You know something? It says here in the competition rules that this is an open contest, and any breed or type of farm horse can be entered. Lucky's any type. It's all right, girl. 
It's going to be you, me, and Lucky. What'd you have to bring that point up for? It's still a horse contest, not a donkey contest. Well, what is a donkey? I mean, well, what is a donkey? Well, a donkey, it, it's a... Uh, well, it... Do you know? Well, of course I do. Donkey is... Uh, Donkey is an animal with four legs. Uh... Just as I thought. Neither of you know what a donkey is. You just know what a donkey isn't. I bet the cyclopedia knows. I'll go get it. Now, what does that one say? Is anybody a lucky horse? Come on, we're waiting. In the broad sense, any member of the horse family, which includes... Donkeys, burrows, zebras, etc. There. That's it. Then Lucky's a horse. Son, according to the encyclopedia, you could also enter Lucky in a zebra contest. Gee, it isn't that Lucky is actually a horse like other horses, but Lucky is a member of the horse family. Sort of a cousin to a horse. That means the same thing. Lucky's gonna be better than any of his other cousins at the fair. <laughs> That's very interesting. <laughs> Did I hear you say donkey? Well, now, it isn't really as bad as it sounds at first, Mr. Tumulty. A donkey in a horse contest? Oh, please try to see it from my little boy's point of view. It means the world to him. And technically, a... Well, a donkey is part of the horse family. It's a relative. My dear Mrs. Martin, every family has a relative they don't brag about. Well, suppose I told you that a zebra is also part of the horse family. Now, wait a minute. Don't tell me you've got a zebra, too. Oh, don't you see, sir? The rules of the farm horse contest were made for all varieties of horses. It's an open contest, and it's mostly for children anyway. Well... There's no doubt the original error was mine. And I certainly don't want to see that nice little youngster of yours hurt in any way. Of course, you know I'll be one of the judges. Now, if your son's entry fails to come up to the competition, well, everything has got to be fair and square. Well, then, you mean it's all right? A donkey! <laughs> now, I want each of you to try a different flavor and tell me the truth. I'm an expert on strawberry jam. Ah, uh, crab apple jelly is my weakness. I want to try the orange marmalade. The truth now, because that's what the judges at the fair will tell. The truth. The truth. minutes and 18 seconds. That's wonderful. How do you do it? Well, with, with just a little more practice, I can do it even quicker. Gosh, a little man. <laughs> Look at that. The most beautiful ear I ever saw. He's so big. I can't believe it. Pretty, ain't she? A sight for sore eyes. Why, Lucky could win first prize in a beauty contest.
magnificent animal. It sure is. You're both thinking what I'm thinking. What if we did the right thing in letting Timmy enter Lucky? Donkey's still a donkey, and there's been a lot of beautiful horse flesh parading in there. Are you both forgetting all the tricks Timmy taught Lucky? Don't forget, this is an obedience contest, too. Looks ain't everything. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Of course I am. The judges have finished marking their points on grooming, and we will now proceed with the obedience contest. I could enjoy this. I don't think anybody can follow that. Oh, dear, and it means so much to him. And now the next contestant is Timothy Martin with his entry named Lucky. Now, this next entry needs a little explaining. Although this contest was intended for farm horses of any and all varieties, we have seen fit to extend the rules just a little more and have accepted close relatives. there and the dog too you must be mighty proud i am sir well now comes the hard part do you think you can carry it off yes sir <clears throat> the judges have completed marking their points for grooming and the obedience contest follows all right go ahead so please lucky just do what lassie and i taught you okay don't forget. Sit down. <laughs> Please, Lucky. 
lie down on your side. I thought we were friends. One minute I'm going to cry. It's my fault. I never should have let it get this far. Pretty stupid of all of us. I'm sorry. I mean, you mustn't take it so much to heart. The important thing is that you tried, son. We're proud of you. Winning the prize isn't the important part. It's entering the competition just as you did. That's right, Timmy. Everybody can't win. Here, look at me. They just didn't give any prize for a carved finger. Had to be wood. <laughs> Everybody was laughing. Oh, but they weren't laughing at you. Their faces were pointing at me when they were doing it. Well, sometimes people laugh without realizing they're hurting someone's feelings. It wasn't meant to hurt you, son. No. They were rolling in the aisles when I whittled my finger instead of that hunk of wood. And it didn't even give me a chuckle. It just didn't seem funny to me. Look, he didn't even care. I just wanted to show everybody what he could do. I think perhaps we'd better go home. I think it'd be best. Somebody, please help me. There's a fire. My prize pigeons, they'll die. Where? In the tool shed. I locked them in there to keep them safe. Get in there, little girl. Not even any water around here to put the fire out. <laughs> of the citizens of Calverton, I proudly award you with the second Hero Blue Ribbon. <laughs> what are you kissing me for? Why did you kiss them? <laughs> <laughs> 